episode of the French Take On The World. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a little bit behind where I was last episode. What basically happened was is that I logged out. Um, I came, I logged out for a second, you know, to do some things off screen. I came back and I realized I had not saved. So, you know, I got from the nearest save point, which is only about four months before. And really, we haven't done anything in this campaign. So, I mean, we haven't done anything in a really long time. So, you know. Yeah, there really wasn't that much of a big fight. I mean, the only thing we have is just, like, our wars over here and wars over there. Okay, so, yeah, it's really not that big of a thing. Um, do we have our massive tanks to production? Yes, we do have our max, max put tank production being made. Um, I'm actually going to put that off because, um, do we have any, like, tank, actual tank things being made? Because salute everyone. Yeah, we don't really have any tank things being made, and actually, most would actually be a really good place for this. Um, we need you to build automotive industries, tanks, telephone, automobiles. Take that from Bourgeois, Bonjour. Because actually, does have a lot of people here. But yeah. Anyways, we are back here in this game. Of awesomeness where we are just playing as a French and just trying to take over the world and most of I'll open this I'll subsidize every single one of these factories because right now they're in open revolt and I'm gonna have to like it's gonna take my people a little bit to get everything so yeah and what I've kind of noticed is that the Chinese are kind of encroaching in on our space and what I mean by encroaching is that they are rapidly becoming bigger than us consciousness whatever um, because they look look at that they have 3,187 and we have, um, 3,000, we have just 2,900 that. I mean, we're about 200 off, but they're starting to really annoy me with their, uh, um, encroaching out of my space. So, you know, there's a little bit of problem with that because now, now the Chinese are starting to overtake us, which I'm not really liking. And what am I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to, um... I'm trying to make sure that, since we have all tier 4 technologies, I'm going to try to make sure now we have all tier 5 technologies. So, tank exploits. Okay, good. Um, we just have to wait for that. So, what I'm going to have to do is to make sure that the Chinese do not, like, gain the heading on us or gain ahead of us. Um, let me see. Are they building Are they building what I want them to build? In the region I want them to build it in. Um, no, they are not, which is kind of aggravating me a little bit, but not really much you can do. So, what I'm going to have to do is kind of, com is kind of, um, is for right now, just delete all my tanks, tank production, and I'm going to have to wait until I actually invent some factories, or another nation actually invent some factories, so then I can actually start, um, using tanks. You know what, actually, wait, 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 I got a brilliant idea. Um, Switzerland. You guys have come in handy in the past. Switzerland, you guys have come in handy in the past. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is, you guys are going to be a tank producer. Build the factory. Oh my goodness, I should not have built it there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a really actually a good idea. I should have really done this much earlier. Um, let's see, is there any other nation I can do this with? Maybe, I don't want to give Canada the full task, but... You guys, let's see, what province would be really good for this? Um, right here in Newfoundland, I could probably get a new factory built pretty easily. So how about some tank production built right there? Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's see if that does anything. Oh, but in the meantime, that's what, ah, I keep forgetting about this. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build my old army, my old type of army. Five, six, uh... No, oh my goodness, so many Africans. I'm really, th I'm really thinking, by the way, of building some African soldiers because, because I have just so many of them. Okay, that and one, two, three, four people there. Okay, actually, I need to build like eight soldiers now. Go back to here. One, two, three, four. There we go. That should be a good balanced army right there. And let's continue. Ah. Okay, and we have. Did I not send these guys to go... Oh, shoot. In this one, I have not sent them yet to go to Dublin to go, you know, take out all these rebels. That's why we have some major revolutions right now. Well, anyways, we got that 
we got that dealt with. And while I'm here, I'm going to now separate all the bad ships from the good ships. Which is basically, I'm going to separate all the Man of Wars from the, from the transports. So I have a good free moment. Uh, transport all the same. Oh, I probably should have done that. <laughs> okay, back, back. Okay, close. Okay, you guys, disband. You guys aren't useful anymore in my empire. You guys were in great service, though. I'm glad you guys were a part of this great times that we live in. But you guys are no longer needed. So, yeah. That was the retiring of those guys' colors. And for Persia, I now have Persia in my sphere. Which is a great thing. So, Persia, let's get under my sphere. Da -da -da -da. Okay, now I got even more allies to, you know, group about. And over here... I'm going to build a, uh, you know what, I'm going to build another, no, these guys are actually pretty poor, so I'm just going to build a cement factory here, uh, fuel, no, that'd be a really bad idea, let's build a, a telephone pole, let's build a telephone pole in Persia, I don't know why it's making me laugh so much, but let's build a telephone pole in Persia, and they just need to learn how to adapt, and this war seems to still be going on, but I thought it already ended, let's see, oh, I see, the Ottomans are, uh, the, the, the Chinese and the Germans are trying to sneak out as much as they can, and the Italian Liberation Front over there is going good. Yeah, it seems like these two superpowers are just not becoming so super anymore, because I'm just getting beaten up by everyone. Especially China. China seems to be just going to war with them, and my allies, um, let's see, should I? No. I'm sorry, I still need you guys to work about the same amount of hours. I mean, as much as I love you guys, you guys still need to work. Um, because we still need that much money coming into us. Or coming into our nation. And you guys, since... Okay, you guys... You guys are my new unit I created, right? Yeah, you guys are the things. And, oh, oh, Patrick Petzer. This is the guy that won the Battle of... This is the guy, oh, I, I, I'm so happy. This is the guy that won the battle of, um, that big gigantic battle that I was talking about a couple episodes ago. He's the guy. Lazy name is really adapt. So, yeah, I'm honored to be, I'm honored to have him in my uh, army still. Still surprised he's alive. And, yeah, this is just kind of a chilling out moment, and there's a reform I can do. I'm going to do now general subsidize, tip the favor back into collectionism, and are the Russians allowed to uh, build up their army yet? Because I feel really bad if they still can't. Even though the Bolsheviks are not winning anymore. Well, yeah, it seems like the Bolsheviks are starting to, like, slow down. Uh, the, the Italians are just going down. I mean, they, wow, they don't even have the armies, like, subsidized or anything. They're just kind of like, meh, army, yeah, here. Okay, and now we got our new soldiers being made, which is good. We're, base, we're officially becoming into the advanced eras. And this is all, like, new, entirely new fleet being made right over here. All advanced, all up-to-date, all everything we wanted from our nation. And, yep, it seems like they cleaned up that area pretty darn well. And we officially moved back into first place again. And I think this is this is probably going to go on for a very long time with me. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> 290.94. I think... Oh, I know what happened. They stopped, uh, the mobilization went down. They're no longer mobilized, so they got back to regular. Ah, ah, that's funny. Okay, add the sphere. Keep my, I'm trying to keep all my nations I can. I definitely want Romania back. That's definitely one of those nations I want back, because they are, they, I freed them. I freed them, and I feel partly responsible. What? Ah. Uh, I feel like they just never give me a break, do they? Why did... I, I thought my army was over... Wow. Okay, so my army apparently is very bad at covering its tracks. Okay, so... Retreat from Poland, um... We apparently dislodged the Polish people. The Polish people have somehow become communists. Well, it's just rapidly descending into chaos. Um... Um... Wachina can become mine. Um... I don't... I was actually thinking of this, and I actually don't think I should make them mine. I'm going to decrease my relationships with Japan. Um, because I actually want, if I'm going to get Romania, I want them to be mine, and I was actually thinking about this, I really don't want Greece. <laughs> um, like, I would normally say I'd want Greece, but I really don't want Greece, I'm going to decrease the Chinese. 
Okay. Because, you know what, the Greeks, they should be naturally in the uh, British sphere of influence. And personally, I don't want to deal with if there's an Ottoman Greek war. I don't want to be directly involved into that because right now the Ottomans do have two, do have the Italians and the Germans on the side, which by both of them together could make a very powerful alliance, which I would not particularly enjoy. And the Romanians are also going through their own kind of civil war. Hopefully they have it under control though. Yeah, they have it under control. The main state is under control. And yeah, let's see. How is our infrastructure doing? It's doing really quite well. And the Russian infrastructure has now just completely died and now is not even a part of the world. This is how the world should be, I think. Okay, and moving to 5 tier tech. You know, actually I'll do this because the less time it takes for us to build ships, the more time we have to invest in other things. So increase. Friendly right there. And yep, we're back to being the second world power. And you know what we could do? We could actually upgrade our vassals a little bit. And oh my goodness, Brazil is finally allowing free trade. Oh my goodness, this is like the first time in a very, very, very long time they've allowed free trade. And I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go to town on these railroads, because I can build advanced railroads and they can't. Oh uh, man. This is the first time in a long, long time they've allowed free trade. So let me... Let me test the wires here and think of... Ooh! Hmm... We have a lot of people in Amazon, Brasilia. Um, where do we want to go? Um, we want to build something that's going to be successful, not necessarily... That's going to collapse on me instantly. Um, what we could do is could do the classical... Yeah, let's, let's just build a simple fur factory for now. Um, then have... Um, I'll reopen this. Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think of what would be really profitable here. Real Jungle. I don't think Real Jungle would be a good region for anything. Let me just see. Naturally, actually, we should be trying to find something that would make really good coffee. Because that's really what they're good at. Is making coffee. So what would be a good resource that helps, that helps produce coffee? This is a very weird question, but does anything? Uh, lumber mill is definitely very important. I'll build that. Because lumber mill is going to help us with a lot. Um, clothing factory so that we can have a good leather supply and a good clothing supply. And you know what? Quit. We'll just open up everything and see what survives. We're going to completely like we're going to completely own the entire Brazilian economy. I guess that's what I basically decided in this like little short span. And I'm actually spending a lot of money on this, so I'm hoping that they'll at least keep some of these factories alive. But, yep, we own the entire Brazilian economy. So we're going to see how that goes for Brazil as we, you know, are complete and other imperialists and completely own their, yep, we own their economy. They are completely dedicated to us. Okay. And now, whew. And we have just had so much peace right now. And right now we have a lot of people being made. I'll, I'll move them all towards Paris, Paris, France. Okay, you guys go right there, because this is like our new army. Anyone over here that I have to get? Um, no, these are all single little states and bombard guards, bomb guns. That sounds like a really cool idea. And it seems like the communist Poland, <laughs> the communist Poland is um, fighting back against its Austrian, Heschel, and Donchnik oppressors and uh, conquering back some nations. Okay, Serbia, now getting influenced by me. Man, Romania is, I th don't think it had a rebellion. I think it's still communist, which I'm now starting to think, why are they having rebellion when they're communist? I mean, they already have the best of both worlds. Or at least the best of this world. Okay, you guys go right there. Now, everyone move right there. Okay, no, no, no. Move right there. Move right there. There we go. And now combine. Let's see. Do we have any more? Oh yeah, we have loads more. We have tons of tons of more troops coming. And we have more and more of our ships being built. And okay, now we had a lot more ships just like suddenly sprung out of nowhere. I think it's because we have these really, really huge advanced shipyards right here. 
which we actually should upgrade every single one of ours to. Um, expanding, expanding. Best also include that. Best also include that. Best also include that. And I'll go at a very low speed so that we're still increasing in time, but we're not like going too fast so I can't keep up with what's happening. Um, oh! Apparently, without me knowing, the fascist people have um, come into power, so... You know, look forward to fascism rising in the French commu communist countries. And it's a new year with a new idea of of women's rights and women are uh, going... Yeah, women. I'm going to give women rights. There we go. France did it. France was the first country to ever give women's rights. Good job. Good job, France. You don't know what have you... You don't know what you opened up. <laughs> oh, I sound really mean there, but... I really do mean it. It's really gonna be good that we got women's rights. Okay, so now we got all that ports done. Over here in Bois, these are like my ghetto, my ghetto uh, ports. Um, down here, I think I got. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I have way more like advanced ports over here. In fact, over here I don't even have a fort. So let's get some more forts. Over here, that's not mine. Over here, I have a decent sized fort. It's like level two. Okay, over here. I don't really have a fort over here. And the king, some party got in control. I'm hoping we finally... Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> okay, you guys. The Principality of Somalia Land. I'm actually going to influence. There's only one reason and one reason only. Because I cannot conquer them. That's the reason why they're becoming under my sphere. And because I kind of need these guys so I can start moving between my empire. My massive empire over here. Okay. Um, yeah, back to this, and I'm really hoping Poland can pull away with its victory it wants, because, you know, this is a great, great time to start beating up on Austria, because right now everyone's, okay, Nobel Prize, that's a good thing, okay, are we slowing down our production of, no, we are a little bit, so make a whole nother massive amount, we want to make sure there are no shortages, of dreadnoughts okay go back here keep sending all my dreadnoughts to go over here to this one place over here did I already upgrade this yes I am upgrading this um, build some more uh, dang it what okay what is more powerful a dreadnought or a battleship a battleship is 59 a dreadnought is oh my goodness a dreadnoughts powerful Okay, so Dreadnought was not the most pow- Ah, oh, dang it! Dreadnought was not the most powerful thing in this game. It was, um... Ah, dang it. Okay, I thought I had- I thought I had the winning formula, so... Cancel a lot of these. We're gonna start building Dreadnoughts. That's what we need to build. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so then... What does... What does a battleship count as? Okay, well, anyways, I'm gonna start building all these new... Dreadnoughts, because that's actually what we need to be building. Oh my goodness. So, a battleship's like tiny ships, because if they are, that's what I'm basically going to use them as, is the tiny ships. And, oh my goodness. I'm not going to destroy this army, because I love it too much, but, dang. Okay, what do battleships count as? They count as heavy ships, so... Wait, this includes some mortars, too, so... Mortars also count as heavy ships, so... You know, I'm just going to put this in its own kind of army. And now I'm going to start building cruisers. Cruisers and dreadnoughts. There we go. Now, I, now I'm on track, people. Now you guys don't have to yell at me every single second saying, Ah, this is what you're supposed to do. You should be doing this and this and that. Okay. So now I'm, I'm on track now. I'm on track with building the, the powerful army I need. Okay. There we go. Back to resuming game. And actually, that's a good way to end the episode. So everyone, I'll see you guys next time.